Well, hello. So I'm going to start right now. I'm putting together my very first, I guess, YouTube edit, like to a point of the being like a long edit. And it's all about uh, getting my dad's 1966 GMC that he's had now for the last 17 years. Uh, he passed away back in October, so I've always been into this stuff. I got projects going all the time. I just wanted to document it and put it all on YouTube in hopes to maybe get some followers. I'd like to do this stuff. I'd like to do a lot of this stuff. I have square body. I have this old 1966. I have motorcycles, whatever. I'm always at things. I'd love to have a YouTube channel. So this is the very first episode of Five Toes Garage. Yep, because I got the leg. Anyways, so let this... Uh, Let's see if it works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Anyways, episode one of Five Toes Garage is on the move. Like it. So, we're moving a bit of stuff here this morning. Got to get this our door clear. But this is day one. Day one of getting this truck out of the barn for the first time in years. I'd say she's been here in here now for, well, she's been in here for 17 years. So, she's coming out. Today, I'm going to tighten everything all up on it. That's there, just enough to get it chipped to Newfoundland. And then tear down begins. Uh, I need a new fuel tank. Somebody wants to hit me up with a uh, good site for that. Um, yeah, let's just do a little walk around. I mean, she's, she's a good 20-footer. Doors work best kind. But everything, everything's getting done, obviously. You all know that. You all see the parts I have coming. Everything's getting done. Windows, mirrors are... are I think they could clean up pretty nice. Engine's coming out tomorrow. Engine and trans, so I don't have to ship that to New, or to New Brunswick. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be pretty, pretty good. Pretty exciting day. Grads all open up here. Things are getting moving. Yeah, roll this at least back to there right now and uh, have a look. She's going out, Father. If you're looking, if you're watching, if you're listening, if you're whatever it is you're doing, or if you're up on the math hole in, in your box, whatever it is, she's going out. And I am 100% going to make you shake your head. This thing is going to be done, finally. Look at it. Oh. So, everything's pretty tight right now. Not much is moving. She's strapped all over the place. I got straps going everywhere. I know it looks bad, but this is nice. This is strapped. This is strapped back here, forward, backwards. It's tight up against those blocks. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good right now. I installed the bumper yesterday just because it looks nicer. Yeah. Next is just make sure I get everything packed in the cab, shrink wrap the cab so nothing gets in, and hope for the best. <laughs> and welder, toolbox up there, it's just re-strapped, lots of straps, way too many straps. This is packed, coveralls, truck parts, miscellaneous tools, da 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 And uh, I gotta put that somewhere. He's going around that, go around, go on. Go do a donut. I got this all packed under here. Truck parts, stuff from Dad's garage. Ah, Harley, skidoo. And yeah, so it just takes some time and I'm helping Mom a little bit. Look what showed up while I was away. Hiya, judo chap. Judo chap. Watch out. Can I use Oh, can I use this on a ramp? Wow. Dad, can I use this on a ramp? Sure, buddy. Do what you want. I don't care. I'm looking at this now. Don't uh, don't kill yourself, will you? Okay, cool. <gasps> Look at all the birds. Man, that looks so slick. I'm going in the So this is going to make my bad. Go. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So, Narcent left is in town, 
And tomorrow I can start the disassembly of the box, get that off, put this in place after I get the old stuff out and taken out. I have the, uh, the hooker headers cross member right there, my engine, my transmission, my QA1 rear suspension right over there. So tomorrow I hope I can get the box off and at least dismantle the rear suspension. Have it all off, touch it up, hit it with some POR15 chassis paint, let that sit for the next day, then I can start assembly of everything. So right now from that door back, I should have complete powertrain done uh, before I go back to work, I'm hoping. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be, I, I have it here. Stuff is showing up. My curry rear diff showed up, was waiting for me. Uh, beer fridge I got from Air Miles has showed up here waiting for me. American powertrain transmission, like I said, the QA1 suspension, Ajax racing engines for 383 from Ajax Ontario, American racing rims, full exhaust, my cold case red, uh, what else, bumpers, this is first gen, C10 parts, everything here, some Luffy beer, uh, coveralls, cause I'm gonna be in state, uh, what's that over there, that's my TMI seat, uh, there's just so much parts, LMC box over there showed up here too, I have, oh, my knife's coming there, look, from, from uh, Air Miles, may as well use them up, I'm not going nowhere, this is all my focus right now, so yeah, Right on. Wake the neighbors. Oh, I'm a little winded right now, but uh, the box is off. Yeah, by myself. But that's all right. It's off, no damage done. It actually came off kind of nice. Kind of real nice. That fender. Oh well, I'll get that bottle up in place in a month. That'll be all okay. Everything's all good. Box hasn't been off of this in a long time, but I have to take all this off, strip this. I think I'm gonna just, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The build begins right now. So, I got the fuel tank taken out. They had a fuel tank made, but he had a three inch lift on it, which stuck up here a little bit, so I had to remove that. That's right over there, so I need to get a new fuel tank kit. Um, brake lines taken off the dead head. Now I'm going to, Pound out some rivets. I'm going to make some noise here right now. Get some stuff prepared to remove. Because this is going to take... Just going, I'm going to make a lot of noise. And that's okay. Yeah. Right on. So, here we are in New Brunswick. Now I left. is on the trailer. There. And we're moving into the garage right now. And this is going to be ground zero here for a little bit. There's everything everywhere. But as we get going, it will slowly come together a little bit better. But right now, we're gonna get this in there, right here, yeah, okay. She's in, she's unloaded. She squish, but eh, get it over there a little bit. Yeah, she's there, she's home. That corner needs to come up, I can see it now. Yeah, now that she's on level ground. Anyways, she's in, she's unloaded. I'll fool around with lining it up or not at once, but right now, this, is all coming out. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, truck's in the garage. Right now, I have a jacked up jack stands underneath here. I'm gonna rip the tires off and try to dismantle all of this and have all of this just a bare frame here in, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, good enough. Let's go, wrenching time. Okay, boys and girls. So, in today's class, it's, uh, well, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, we're suspension out. We're on jack stands. We're completely Wi-Fi here right now. Bluetooth even. That's not yet, but parts are coming. Yeah, so I'm a little out of breath. <sighs> I got to work on the cardio, but my Lord. So look here. Took this all out as a unit, so that can just go as a unit. First sale, slightly used, lady driven. Right. Okay, so just uh, drilling and using a hammer and popping these out, they're actually really easy to come out. So I've done that side just for testing. And right here, right now, I'm just gonna just center punch that, drill it out with two or three different drill bits, give it a smack with a cold cut, 
Boom. Nothing to it. So, beautiful morning. Here at the house. Water's up. I wish it was like this all year round. I'll leave right around sea dude, but unfortunately I can't. It drops a lot. But yeah, so not a bad backyard. Anyways, got a bed off over here. That's in storage now for a little while. Fancy fuel tank he had. I'm not gonna be using this one, I don't think. Yesterday was a pretty good day. Got the truck box off, got it unloaded. Ripped the axle out, tires, springs, suspension. Turn the lights in here. Oh, this place is a state. It is. And I'd apologize, but I don't care right now. So, this C notch over here has started. I got some bolts in it right now just to hold it in place and have a look. I still have to cut this one. Pound out some annoying, ignorant rivets right here that were welded for whatever reason right here. See that? Yeah, so I got to get rid of that. That has to come off because no more springs. The springs are mounted out here. So, yeah, clean that out real nice. So, gonna be a lot of noise here this morning and I'm uh, pretty pumped about it. Yeah, wait the neighbors. So, I got all the factory mounts, suspension mounts out of it. That's a lot of work. With air hammers and hammers and the hands, be poor old hands. Look at them, look. Oh, oh. Arthritis. Anyways, that seat notch is just laid in place. This one over here, I'm going to cut this one right now. Uh, again, this is not going to be any uh, tutorial videos. This is just gonna be me doing little clips of this and whatever else and you guys follow along. Anybody don't know how to use how to, how to use a grinder, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there. I'm not your teacher. You won't understand what I'm saying anyways. So back to our scent left. Yeah, so that C notch is in. Just gonna test fit it all, drill some holes, hit it with some POR 15. I'll keep this updated. Things are going. Grads is a mess. But eh, I'm used to it. Wake the neighbors. See, not just going to get it pretty decent. I'm just going to draw all my holes, get all that done up, take it back apart, make sure all the bolts fit, then take it all apart, hit it with some paint, do both sides, torque that up, finish product, move the diff over in place, assemble the uh, assemble the QA1 parts onto that, jack that up in place. Actually, this is probably going to be this one. I have a full cross member for that though, so yeah. Get the C notch complete, both sides, move up, tear that out, and replace it with the uh, hooker headers, uh, transmission cross member, and trailing arm, whatever you want to call these doodads, it's going to come up here and right into there. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to be able to have my 3 inch exhaust come through instead of dipping down under. So it's all gonna be real nice and clean. Yeah, big, 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 big day. So I'm making headway right here. I have this bolted together. I have to figure out what goes on right here because there's a lot of space. This one's all painted up and ready for the C notch. So I'm waiting for that to dry. I have to pound this all out. There's a lot of rivets. Anyways, that's, if I can get this out, get the new one in, get the truck arms in, get the rear diff up. It's a lot of work, but I'm hoping to have this done today. And that's going to be light years ahead of where I was yesterday. Like this is, so that's my plan. And I'm sorry. And my hands are, my hands aren't the best right now. <laughs> so, c knots installed. Torque down. Uh, hooker header cross member installed. That was a pain. That was a pain. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, anyways, so now I'm going to start with the QA1 trailing arms, and, uh, yeah, see where it goes through from there. Looking pretty decent. Oh, truck arms are in, right there, rear diff is 
getting assembled. It's somewhat in place. This is the state. I don't, I can't, I can hardly breathe right now. This is that much of a mess. But that's it. And I'm going to try to figure out shocks. And uh, yeah. So, day one of the build complete. I have the hooker headers cross member installed. That was a pain to get out the stock one. I have the ladder bar suspension QA1 going back to the curry rear diff installed. This all has to be set up now, angles and whatnot, but I have a lot of work to do here yet. Uh, QA1 double adjustable suspension, uh, Willwood four piston rear calipers. It's looking pretty slick. I'm just trying to get a good look back here. Look at it. Yeah, install was pretty good. Just it's tiring getting those rivets out. The rivets are a pain. It's a lot of drilling, a lot of air chiseling. I actually wore earplugs and safety glasses today. And anybody who knows me or works with me knows that PPE is my last thing. But anyways, I wore it today. Um, need to touch up on some gloss paint, some POR 15, throw on there. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty slick. So right now, I think she's set up for four inches of drop. Yeah, don't care if you don't like it. Don't look at it. Wake the neighbors. Oh my God, look at me hands. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. So it all started with trying to line up that front right cab mount. And I figured, you know, now that I'm at it, I might as well rip it all apart. And, uh, Take apart the front clip. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. Right on. Well, that was interesting. That's off now. And over there on stands. Yeah. Whew. I don't. I, I don't. I don't have anybody around. So you got to do it yourself, right? You know. I'll just have to. You know, buff that out a little bit there. You know what I mean? But. The thing can come apart. Everything has to come apart. And this whole front end, this will probably be off before the day is out. Right on. Look at her though. Oh man. So, I'm about, yeah, 30 minutes into trying to get the cab mount line up. And I got everything apart. So, uh, yeah, it's going uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's have a look here. The frame rails with how dead done. Did a pretty good job. I don't know if this was reinforced or broken, but it's done on both sides. I don't know if, that, if that's factory GM. It almost don't seem like it, but whatever. That's the way she is now. But all this is coming out. Ooh, a bolt. Nice. Yeah. So, I'll buff and grind up a bit of stuff here and hope for the best. Everything's going pretty good. Look at it. Let's see what we can do to get this in the, in the shop. probably how you don't do this but you know it's done so 
So, the front clip is off. Just gonna go over it now with a buffing wheel. Make sure there's a little bit of rust that I can see. There's not much. But just go over to clean up the, clean up a bit of loose paint and whatnot. I'm actually seeing up here, apparently it was yellow at one point. No, yellow wouldn't be too bad of a color, but not this one. Anyways, so you're gonna go through, clean up everything. Uh, front clip got shipped yesterday or the day before, so when that shows up, I'll be ready just to bolt in and get it on four wheels again, bolt drive train in. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be awesome. This build is really coming along. I'm very proud, very pleased with how this is coming along, how this is going. Rear end looks phew, wicked, wicked. Okay, cool, man. Look at this interior. It's just mocked up. I just want to see what it looks like. But yeah. Oh my. So today is take the guard off the grinder and use a wire wheel and remove the little bits of paint and the little bits of stuff to slake in and go over everything and try to get up in the dash where I can. And in here, just get this. This is obviously no good. Like, and I'm gonna get up in under here. If you can see that, I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to have this cab done and in some real good paint by this afternoon and the firewall. I'll show you the firewall. It's the paint that Dad put on don't seem to be holding that well. I'm gonna get a good gloss POR 15 or something. But anyways, here we go. So I had this one on there earlier this morning and 98.76 of those dangly jabs of death went in me yeah so anyways i went back up to the store to see if i could get some more another one but they never had any so i had to do this take the guard off and get the big nine incher so anyways now i have gloves on now i have coveralls on and and i, I i'm gonna be i think i'm good i think so we'll give this a go right now So, I have the floor all took down. Gonna hit it now with some proper metal paint. Now, Dan had it done. I don't know what was wrong with it, but anyways, I got some stuff down here. There's a lot of, a lot of grind in here today. So yeah, let's go outside. That's how good the door closes. Uh, apparently she was yellow at one point, so yeah. It's nice. This paint right here was holding, so I just buffed it up. And uh, yeah. Anyways, time to get at it. So, I'm just getting home from work. It is way too early in the morning, but I can't sleep because I got lots of parts for this right here. And I got to go in, I'm going to get them out, I'm going to drag them out of the house. That's going to take me about 47 minutes. But anyways, this is where we are, and uh, let's get to work. So, I got my rack and painting series showed up. QA1, QA1 front cross member, QA, QA1 bunch of bolts that I'm going to have a hard job with. That's for something, do that, do that one. This right here... QA1 engine mounts, which means this plus these bolts plus that cross member. Oh, yeah, you're coming. Your time is coming. Then we got heavy boxes. Heavy boxes with this brakes. That's the bounce up there. That's for my brake booster assembly and master cylinder on the firewall already in this area. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how she goes. Anybody who knows me and works with me, I mean, knows that I am all about organization, uh, keeping stuff clean and tidy while I'm doing work, and, <laughs> yeah, I try to keep a straight face. Anyway, this is about the most organization I've ever done in my life, but uh, this is pretty special, so we're going to get at this here in a little bit. Well, cross members in, softly bolted, I still got to drill four holes on this side four holes on this side and under of it 
but it's coming together everything using any seas as you can see i'll be covered i'll look like uh what do you want to call it the mona lisa i don't know something the statue of liberty um i look i look like me covering any seas here in about four minutes so anyways stay tuned so it's what time now i don't know what time it is but i've been out here for a few hours now and i got this is is, is looking like it's you you yeah right there this this is installed ish you know but there's in the, there's in i'm getting it done look see look at all the bolts i got look at or the organization yeah the drill bits just broken drill bits there's lots of curse words but uh it's going not bad for the first day off so I'm going to get Charlie on the once. I'm trying to get as much done as I possibly can before the terror comes and he's in a box and whatever. So, yep. Mm. So, had some uh, technical difficulties there yesterday. That was a big word, now, wasn't it? Anyways, so that had to come out again because one of the things didn't quite line up. But uh, anyways, yeah. So uh, we're going to, uh, I got to get this here right now. I got, I think everything's going to line up real nice. I got to continue torquing in this cross member over here and start putting on stuff for the A-arms. And then I had a lot of stuff come. Look at it. So I got my, my uh, uh, steering column, uh, rack and pinion, all my brake hardware, uh, front wheels, stuff there from the wheel hubs, wheel hub assemblies. Brake booster, master cylinder, clutch pedal, stuff there, sway bar lane for the front. So, a lot of stuff going on here. This is uh, mad chaos here, but that's okay. So, anyway, that is the update. Mm -mm. I'm rotten. I got paint everywhere. This POR15, it does not come off. No. You want something that's going to stick? POR15. That'll be on me now for a month. Oh, ooh. Wicked. Anyways. So, everything's in. Looking pretty decent. Gotta get a final torch back. I think I'm gonna grind the weld here and up right here and right there and then bunch of other little stuff. But uh, yeah, so my arms are out. We are going to see how hard this is gonna be to go on. Yeah. Okay, right on. Mm, so, yeah, cover up this, my God. Mother's watching this. Anyways, like a nun here now. So, this side, driver's side, is uh on there sort of kind of wiggle wiggle look at that oh oh bad stuff yeah so uh get the passenger side done and then get her jacked up a little bit and i got some hubs over there maybe i'll put on some tires maybe i don't know anyways i'm getting pretty excited there right now mm -hmm. thumbs up okay. so i got my little partner here Say hi, Charlie. Mm. Say hi, Charlie. <laughs> so anyways, that's the truck. Upper and lower control arms are on. Cross members in. Rack and pinions in. Tighten up. Engine mounts are in. I do have to do a bunch of more research here tonight and just see what's going on. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Anyways, so I got to watch some YouTubes and make sure I got this here done right. I got to go to Princess Auto tomorrow, pick up a 12 mil Allen key to do the hubs. But uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I just stepped on that. That probably shouldn't have stepped on. See that there, right there? Hubs. Everything's all good. Shocks are in. Yeah, it's looking pretty slick. I don't know how to turn this around. I'm not good with the, uh, with the Facebooks and the, anyways. Yeah, say bye, buddy. Bye. What? Ha <laughs> And there you have it. Oh, look how long that is. Oh, man. How <laughs> short. Man, that looks cool. So, here I am. Truck is rolling by herself. 
Yep, let's just get me out of the way here. Look at it, oh my God. Let's just see, look, oh my God. Look at it, just look at it. Yeah, anyways, so yeah, she's rolling. There's a lot of stuff here that needs to be clued up here, like you know, whatever, nothing is, everything is still in the process, but moving. So anyways, yeah, I think it looks pretty slick. She is, she is really low to the ground. Like it is, let's just get that right shot of it. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty fantastic. Yeah. So, I added this here, here too. These here came in. This is all just fitting everything out here right now. Those GMC door seals with the TMI seats and auto leader gauges. And yeah, the American powertrain transmission hump. I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do. But anyways, you want some hands moving here. There'd be, yeah, there'd be a lot of hands going. So, yeah. Everything is uh, looking pretty cool. I really like it. Just look at it. Staying out of the way. Get me gut out of it. Anyways, yeah. So, I'm out of breath now. Just push this in all by myself. But that's okay. It's not that bad anyways. Now, I don't want pity. So, this is all in. Suspension right here is all in. See that? See that? Anyways, I'm going to stop this. So, no, I'm not. So, yeah. Suspension's all in. Rack and pinions bolted up. Motor mounts are in, booster set up. I gotta figure out this here. This is a little long right here, right there. Yeah, anyways, so uh, gotta figure that out. Then busy day, very busy day. Tires are on, looks pretty slick too, all the black. Now the rims I'm going with are gonna be black and chrome. So it's gonna be a lot like this, just more better. Anyways, I'm rotten. So, yeah, what else I got done? I was over here, before I went to cab. <sighs> Let's see, bear with my uh, photo skills. So I got the steering column just mocked up. I got the brake mocked up, clutch pedal mocked up, uh, emergency handle, signature hockey tape along it, loves it. Uh, yeah, so gauge is just laid in place. Nothing too bad. Needs a good wipe down now. Not sure what to do tomorrow. I got um, sway bar, trying to, there we are, sway bar to go in. Uh, proportionate valve for the master cylinder right there. Trying to, I, I'm, this is all backwards. Anyways, yeah, what else I got? I don't know. I got lots of stuff. I, oh, this here, I got the engine. Engine and transmission. Engine over there somewhere. Right there. Right there. Yeah, engine. Transmission's right next to it. I may take the cab off tomorrow. I may, uh, yeah, the cab's gonna come off the mall. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, right on. Wake the neighbors. So, I've been out in the garage now for a few hours. This is all complete here right now, torqued and blah, blah, blah. And I'm putting this in up over here, dropping it right down, right here. Then I'll get the cab off not once, but whatever. Anyways. So, if I can get this, just move back here. Engine in, transmission bolted through the back of the engine, get my measurement for my drive shaft, and then start the fun of trying to start this up. Yeah. Okay. Bye. So, initial test fit of the engine. Uh, I need to do some slight massaging right here and right over there on the yellow marks. So, by massaging, I mean pound crap out of it with a hammer. And then, yeah, everything should be over this one. What massager do you think I should go with? The Mac Anti Vibe or the cheap one I got from Voices Bay? Shh! Anyways, let's go with the Mac. Let's see now what we can do here. Wah! 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 I know. I know it's a shame. But that's it. That's all I can do. That's factory, sir. That's factory. I like those valve covers. Let me just see right now. Just a, a smidge of touch up paint. That's it. Nothing too crazy. And Smith's means not a lot for you crowd is not newfie. That's how I'm word up there with Scooch. 
Just scooch this over right here. Cha! I know. Don't look. Close your eyes. Okay. She is uh, massaged. Yeah, yeah, massage, yeah, okay. That's gone. Yeah. Okay, I need that. Cause I just lost them. And the springs are not 87 places. That's the socket. Okay. Just gotta come out a few more times, you get. I'm supposed to get it to the point now. Just go ahead and look at it. Plant some things. So, oh, that's tipped over. So yeah, engine's in, mocked up a little bit, a little bit of slight massaging. I still got to hit another little bit right out in there, or I can just take off that. No, I probably just give it a little tap, little tap, lots of room there. Down there is still a touch and just a smidge. I probably put a pry bar in between that and just, yeah, anyways, yeah, so. So, I'm tired. Been a long day, I've been out here since 7, 7.30, something-ish, I don't know. Anyways, so, in case you haven't noticed, the cab is off, there is no cab. The cab is in there, and a huge thanks to the neighbor Pat, Chris, Chris, uh, Jordan, a few other boys. Anyways, yeah, as you can tell, I'm, I'm tired. So, so... Let's see, transmission's in, uh, our jolly clutch is set up, uh, bell housing is on, torqued up, headers are mocked up in place with gaskets, everything fits real nice, so clean, just look at it, look at it, look at it, oh, man. so, it sits pretty low, but I like it, just look at that, oh man, that's gonna haul ass, yeah, so look at that big shifter. That's gonna look so nice. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that's it. What do you think? Let me know. Hit me in the in the comments there. Yep. Bye bye. Me again. Yeah, so I've been not quite as busy here today. I got bumper it showed up. I love these. I love them. As you can tell, I like them on the square body too. As soon as they showed up, put those on, put the bumper back on, put the QA1 sway bar in the front, tighten up a few more things, worked on the exhaust a little bit, just modified this, just, just playing around, getting stuff to fit better. Tank showed up today, got that mounted. I'm going to mount it like this. I may have to do a raised bed in the truck, but we'll see about that. The bed, the wood, I may have to raise the wood, not the... I got not in my hands, not as gone. Anyways, yeah. So that looks kind of nice. Look at this. This is pretty fancy. Try and get in there. Okay. Uh, uh, how do you do it? How do you do it? No, no, no. I got a lot gone. Uh. Okay. Let me try this. There we are. So, yeah, it works good. That's like my second time doing it. So anyways, yeah, looks pretty slick, I think. Coming around. Bye-bye. I'm live.
Okay, anyways, I mean coveralls again. Cover that up again. Uh, uh, uh. This is not property of... Oh, there's a nanny on it. This is mine. Anyways, I'm um, doing some welding now. I'm going to stitch weld the rear suspension on. And I'm going to do a few things there. And I'm going to try to get out the front a little smidge. And, yeah, other than that there, i got to reposition some things. And a bit on and on and on. Yeah, so you're about to see some fantastic welding going on here. I am not that good. Anyways, uh, but I'm a good grinder. So we're good. So, today, the engine comes out again. And uh, this is the last time the engine's coming out. Pull the engine out. Get some tack welds along the front suspension that I put in. When the engine goes back in here in a couple hours, everything will be torqued. The spec, carburetor, gaskets, everything on. Headers fully torqued. Done deal. Lots of stuff going on here not at once. So, uh, Charlie's in the house now watching YouTube. So, he better come out now because I need to hand. And I ain't doing this all myself. Bye-bye. So, the engine is out. And uh, the engine is going to be out for a little bit. Those who get it is going to laugh, and those who won't, I don't know what to tell you. It's been a long time since Father's Weld has been welding on this truck. Well, she's doing a fairly decent job there. Now, don't make fun of me welds. Huh? What do you think? Let me know. I won't show you the rest of them because this is growing welds. This is growing her welds. Anyways, so front suspension is all welded up. I got it painted there with the POR15 right there. It's a bit tacky now. I'm so tacky as jean jackets and pit vipers, but anyways, what? Yeah, so right now, I got the tank in here. The tank got a fresh coat of POR15 on it. So the tank is going black. I got to cut out that rear cross member thing that they had put on there for whatever reason. So I slide the tank in there. Then I'm going to hit that with the POR15. And then the chassis, at that point, will be complete. The engine, once the engine goes in this time, that is it. It is not coming back out for nothing or nobody. And I, maybe this week, that thing will purr. Anyways, yeah. Charlie, what are you doing? How's the truck coming along? How's the truck doing? Good. You like Pop's truck? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Is it a lot of work? Yes. Yeah? Are we going to do donuts? Not a lot of work. What? Are we going to do donuts? No. No, no donut. Why, well, you're going to be in a different truck than I'm going to be in. So, right now today, I have the front suspensions welded in. The engine is mounted again. The headers are on, gaskets are on, carburetors are on, gaskets are on. Everything there is mocked, they're not mocked up no more. It is in. That's it. There's not coming out no more. Anyways, that's all done there. But you give it up. Now hold on. Stop it there. Fall down. Jump. Down is easy. Right, this is in tight. Everything is tight. Back here, rear suspension was welded up yesterday. That's all painted up. There's wind blowing a gale here right now. It's coming right full of sand and dust and, and allers and, and nippers and everything else. Anyways, yep, so everything's all done. The fuel tank is took out. I cut off the back part. Look at look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're not gonna you be careful now. If I get to send you back to your mother can cuss, I'll be I'll be hung. Anyways, tank is here. Fresh coat of paint on that, looking pretty good. Yeah, got a little bit of paint put on the put on the uh, firewall again. Freshen that up just a smidge. And uh, yeah, that's it, boys. So uh, she's coming along. I will have this started sometime this week before Friday. Uh, oh my God, my hands look oh. You that 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 don't come off. That's let me check the other one. Yeah, yeah. Like buddy on scary movie, take my strong hand. You like some mashed potatoes? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gone.